AI art, AI art, it seems to be everywhere. It's in all my feeds, it's in my Twitter feed, my LinkedIn feed, people posting that they're, uh, the art that they've generated with this AI engine, uh, people having discussions about it. And so I thought it was about time that I address this elephant in the room, as it were. I took my time to get to this place because I wanted to really understand what all its implications were to a level and really wrap my head around it. And so the real question is, is AI another tool to help artists or is it a threat or maybe it's something in between? Let's start by looking at if it is a threat. When we look over time and history, we'll find that Every time there's an evolution of technology, there is this aggressive moment of pushback from either side. You know, uh, if you look at the evolution of the camera versus the portrait artist, portraits started going out of commission because more people wanted to get a photograph taken rather than the portrait. But over time, there was a return or a resurgence of portrait art commissions because there is something that the portrait captures or the, the painted portrait captures that a photographer can't. The same happened in the 90s with uh, the evolution of digital art versus traditional art. Initially, the thoughts were digital art isn't art, uh, it's this cold machine uh, creating stuff, but the reality is artists still had to draw, they had to do the hard work of creating something. And yes, now it's recognized as a normal part of um, the art world. There is still traditional artists working and their work is important, but perhaps there's an evolution in their process. Perhaps they've incorporated elements of their technology to help them work through something. For instance, a lot of times if I'm doing a painting, sometimes I'll do a digital sketch of it and put, test out the color palette I wanna use digitally before I then incorporate it in a physical painting. That way I have a good, clear understanding of how the color should interact and it just saves me time. And so, sure, I painted it traditionally, but I incorporated the technology to help me with that to speed up my process, to speed up my system. I think the AI generative art will have similar connotations. Perhaps it might take some artists out of commission initially uh, as it evolves, uh, especially if it's cheap to use um, because anytime there's cheap, certain businesses will go for the cheapest option. Um, and the same thing happened when first the first stock illustrations came out. Businesses started moving towards choosing stock illustrations because it was cheap. They didn't have to pay for a new license. They didn't have to uh, wait on the artist. They had the work straight away. But over the next five or six years, we found that most businesses looked exactly the same. There was, it was hard to distinguish between them because they all use the same stock photography. And I think there's an element of that that will occur within AI art. You'll be able to tell it's AI art versus the, the authentic work of an actual artist and the way that they express themselves. And so, no, I don't see it as a threat but I do have some real concerns about it. My concerns primarily revolve around uh, the ethics and the copyright or the law around it. I think it's important that this conversation is really had with the people developing AI. If the AI engines are gonna use or incorporate data from existing artists, should those artists then be paid a royalty every time their style is used to generate an AI art? I think this would be a, a way to move forward where the artist is compensated for their style. Uh, this way, both parties potentially win. The other thing is the ethics of it. You know, um, 
is it okay for the AI to use somebody's art and then you call it your own or you put your name to it when in reality it's a ripoff of an existing artist that is alive and thriving. I think this is a dangerous line to, uh, to thread and so I think these are some real concerns that need to be taken care of. Outside of that, I, th I think there is a lot that we can do with AI. Uh, I previously worked as an art director in ad agencies and I can totally see AI being a quick way of scamping up an idea to pitch to my creative director. This way I could quickly generate um, the visual language and then perhaps use that information to hire an artist to produce that. Uh, or something along those lines. It'll be a great way to clarify your visual thoughts around an idea. I was fortunate enough to work on a, uh, a piece incorporating AI work with my own work. So I used an AI generator to come up with a, an image and then that image then got incorporated as a background with my own character and so there's this merging of the two things so i think ai will be a useful tool it's just a question of understanding how it will be used and the more we as artists and creators use it the better we will be in, able to inform the people developing it how best it can serve our community i don't think there will ever be a time where ai will fully uh, outlive the artist. I don't think it's going to be the end of art because every time technology has evolved, humans have found a way to adapt and bring their own um, creative outlook to it. The truth is, as artists, we are communicators. This is the crux or the heart of what we do. Our value is in our ability to think our specific perspective on the world. The art is an outworking of that perspective. And so nobody can steal that from you because only you can think the way you do and only you can share your thoughts the way you do. And so I think that is an important lesson to take away or uh, an important distinction to make that no matter what, AI will not be able to take away your ability to think, your ability to problem solve, your ability to communicate. So I hope you found this helpful and perhaps uh, you can let me know in the comments your own thoughts on AI, whether you see it as a threat or as a tool and what implications you see from it. That's it for me. Be true, be you, stay fruitful.